Counter re-signs one of their major clients again in their biggest or second biggest industry yet, Tampa Bay General. Now, the best part is they contain to tout how amazing Palantir has done in the healthcare sector. And since this is where I work myself on the analytics side in healthcare, it's always cool to see them tackling the hardest hitting problems in our healthcare system today, especially in the United States. So Palantir has re-signed with Tampa General Hospital and extending their already long-term partnership and officially doing the announcement of AIP onto paper. Now, this has been well known already. They've presented before and we've seen many demos, trailers come out from this in the partnership already, so it's nothing new necessarily. And officially, they are saying AIP will be utilized for their care coordination operating system, essentially giving them a view of how to prioritize patient care throughout their care operations. So this will, of course, be achieved through automation, system workflows, as well as handling the financial end of revenue cycle management, since every bit of documentation of care is huge when it comes to getting paid by insurance companies or the government programs along the way. But I think the bigger focus, though, in the PR, and it appears to be the clinical outcome side and how this will help patients actually feel. And really, they double down focusing on patients receiving the right care in the right place as quickly and safely as possible. Considering that's how you as a hospital maintain your resources, but you still have the best skill sets applied to the correct kind of health issues coming in at the right time. So you don't want everyone flowing into the emergency room. You want certain cases to go to urgent care instead, or maybe it just requires an appointment later on with their PCP or primary care physician, or even seeing a specialist. There are so many different routes. Now, the meat and potatoes of what Pounder has done is basically unreal to me, which we've seen throughout their demos and announcements before, but still always amazing to hear in the PRs. They cut 83% of the amount of time required to place patients. This is important as an early step because you can think of this as the top of the funnel. Some think this is the low-hanging fruit, but in reality, this is where the most uncertainty actually lies and because of patients coming in and it's being assessed what needs to be done. And this is compounded on the complications when there's no patient history or there's miscommunication, which can happen a lot because patients aren't medical experts in their families to describe every little relevant thing. You get the gist. So setting up the top of the world workflow is massive, but then also the decline the hold time for post anesthesia care units or PACU, which after getting anesthesia, you want to assess when a patient can safely be moved to another area, but also massive is the average length of stay for sepsis patients going down 30%. So in the industry, typically lowering the length of stays of inpatients or the amount of time of a post-surgery state typically means patient conditions are more stable or healthy enough to eventually get discharged. So as someone who works in healthcare analytics, this is always brings a smile to my face. Now, of course, we get the quotes from both sides, from TGH, but also CARP and how they're changing healthcare. But we do get a new bonus, new piece here. Pounder, in addition to extending the partnership, will be joining the Tampa Medical and Research District, which essentially means they're getting their foot into the door of more healthcare organizations from academics, clinical care to research and biotechnology. So the possibilities keep growing here and the applications of Pounder in the industry are still there. But unfortunately, which seems to be more and more the norm is we aren't getting any specific deal terms for these re-signings like we saw with Eaton not too long ago. So no term length or dollar amount to evaluate here. But what are your thoughts still on the deal announcement? Let me know below and I'll see you in the next video.